Hello, my name is Helga. In this video, I will uh, focus on uh, prepping to peel the engine and also to start the refurbishing of the teak for the outside of the boat, for railing, among others. I was asked to do an introduction of myself, and if you don't want to see that, you can skip to this time point. I am Helga. I am 56 years old. I'm a husband and a father of four. Whereas my youngest child, Sara, is helping me with the video and video editing. She started doing that in the last video. She is a wonderful person to help me. I have a master degree from the Norwegian Business School, so something quite entirely different from boating. I've been working in DNB, one of the major financial banking groups in Norway, for 25 years. Whereas uh, nine years as a product director. I choose to leave uh, seven years ago. I've never looked back. I know I'm trying to do very, very different things. Among other things, I've started uh, editing web pages and now also YouTube, for example, and some consulting. Regarding boat life, um, I've always loved boating. I've had a lot of boats since the age of 16 and uh, I've refurbished five boats uh, before this Fisher project. Living in Western Norway, there is a fantastic coast of thousands, literally thousands of islands with no people and lots of space, obviously, and no sharks, uh, no snakes, really, that's bad. It's cold, it's the Norwegian weather, but it's a good thing too. So uh, I'll Dream about uh, sailing uh, this ship in the Norwegian coast and over the North Sea to England and uh, different places, really. Last project I had was a Dragonfly trimaran sailing boat that I bought in uh, 2019. It was uh, 30 years old then and uh, was in desperate need of some repainting. So I did that uh, during winter, so it was uh, ready for uh, the 2020 sailing season and I had a great time. Obviously that is a really fast boat and uh, it uh, is a really strange uh, thing that I choose to go to the opposite side of sailing, meaning this sailing uh, thing called a motor sailor. It doesn't sail well at all, as far as I understood. I've always loved the uh, old uh, looking boats, and this one really is inspired by uh, the, the old Norwegian Colin Archer rescue boat uh, in the early 19th century. Tremendously excellent uh, seaworthy boats. Um, I also have a Rea 900, that is a motorboat made in France, actually. It's quite a newer thing, but it really looks like an old lobster boat, an old fishing boat. My experience from the project, I mentioned that I have already done five other boats in my life, and the sixth one is no. I have no education whatsoever. Doing this, I have learned a bit from my father, I have learned a bit from my uncle, Rolf, and uh, the rest is uh, trying and failing. Um, I like uh, to do refurbishment, I don't know why, because I always end up with a lot of work, but that's okay. So, um, I'm really uh, trying to live the life and to dream, and I need to work with this boat, so I hope you are happy uh, for me to do that and to, to document it in these videos. I've started restoring the old teak from the outside of the boat. Let's uh, go to workshop and have a quick peek inside. So, we are at the workshop, let's get in and take a look.
We are now in the engine room of the Fisher. As I mentioned in the previous video, the engine mount is uh, quite in bad condition because they have used uh, a tube uh, by four wood to increase the height of, of the fundament. If I twist the motor, it, it's quite loose. Uh, this is also, of course, the feet that the engine is resting on, but it's also the, the base that it's standing on. We need to do something about that. Uh, first, I guess the diesel tank must be removed. So, I've opened the diesel tank and, well, is it fortunate or unfortunate? I don't know, no, but the tank is almost full of diesel. I have a lot of fuel to get rid of. So, I must get some uh, plastic cans to store the diesel. Here's the diesel tanks. I'm afraid it's not going to be enough. Let's start with it. It's going to take a hell of a lot of time, but not for you guys. Let's queue up the video. To get the tank out, I obviously need to rem To get the tank out, I obviously need to remove some of the floor. Let's get started.
the last video there was some that warned me about removing this wall as it supports the mast. The weight of the mast will of course be pointing downwards here uh, and, and uh, the roof will need support. My intention is not to remove this wall but to take it away for refurbishment and then replacing it again. But it will be support for the mast. I will however slightly twist the wall. That could implicate the strength of the hull but I will take that into consideration when I, when I strengthen the hull further. Okay, this is all we have time for this video. In the next video, I guess this wall will have to go. This engine needs to be pulled backward, actually forward in the boat. This wall will be removed anyway. Go all in. Let's see what happens. Thank you for watching and uh, if you have enjoyed uh, this video, uh, please leave a like, please leave a comment if you have any tips, input, I appreciate it and I will try to answer every one of the inputs. If you don't like it, of course, don't click like, obviously. Thanks, anyway, bye.